while the decisions in the southern states, the southern school districts, were moving toward implementation, the segregation and isolation, racial isolation in the north was increasing. We had to, as a uh, uh, legal uh, uh, matter, we had to find out how we best could challenge and make the Brown v. Board of Education decision relevant in the North in the uh, approach to uh, eliminating uh, the increasing segregation. So I was able to put together a legal team and we came up with a, with a strategy that um, the courts began to accept that it was possible to prove that the isolation and the, uh, the one race schools we saw developing in the North, um, that, was, that situation and phenomenon was not the result of happenstance. It was not accidental. It was not a matter of choice. It was a result of policies and practices that had been pursued by public officials in the North over time. And, and, and it was a combination of, uh, of uh, policies relating to housing, zoning, um, pupil assignments, um, teacher assignments. All of these things came together to create what was happening in the North.